Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in two powerful decks for this reading today to connect with the masculines and what they want you to know. So I'm going to bring in the Romance Angels Oracle and I'm going to use my deck, the Twin Flames Supernatural Power Couples Love Messages Oracle. They give me a little bit of fear as well when I'm connecting with the masculine today. I feel there's a little bit of fear about expressing themselves to you today. So what do they want you to know? And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. Wow, look at that one jumping out there. What do the masculines want you to know? What do the masculines want to say to you today, divine felony? What's on their mind? Wow. What's on their mind? Now, I'm going to start with these cards because these just threw themselves out of the deck. Look at this. I feel your masculine is saying to you today, I'm so sorry you never know where you stand with me. I'm so sorry you never really know how I feel. I'm sorry that you feel that way because the masculines always feel like in their mind, they let you know how they feel. You know, in their mind, they're not really doing anything wrong. They're just processing, reflecting, thinking, working it all out. In your mind, they're ghosting you, ignoring you, blocking you, not wanting you or, you know, lying to you or abandoning you in some way. So remember, it's all about perception. Now, in this card, Haley is saying to Elijah, I never know where I stand with you. I never know how you really feel yet. Elijah loves Haley very deeply and it's so obvious you know if you're wondering what film or show this is from this is from the originals you know Elijah adores Haley and it's very clear for all to see but he's got a lot going on in his life you know he's got a lot of deep inner struggle and inner battles and demons and he's got a lot of trouble in his life and he tends to hide things from her for that reason. He's trying to protect her. So really what Elijah is doing a lot of the time is trying to protect Haley from his pain, his fear, even his lifestyle, so that she will have a much better life. And that comes across as indifferent to Haley. She doesn't know how he feels, so she gets triggered by it. I never know where I stand with you or how you really feel. Well, how Elijah really feels about her is love. And that's how your masculine really feels about you, love. Your masculine loves you. And you've shown me what true love is. So this is Ali saying this to Jasper. You know, Ali says to Jasper, and this is in Twilight, you've shown me what true love is. You've shown me what that is. And Jasper says that to Ali, it's reciprocated. I didn't know love until I met you. You've shown me what that is. And this is the way the love is because we have relationships before each other, but we never really feel this way with any other apart from our twin flame. That's why it hurts so much. That's why we tend to forgive them and they get away with so much, whereas other people wouldn't because they are our twin. And it's unlike anything we've ever felt before. So your mask is saying to you today, you've shown me what true love is. And me and you are the greatest love story of them all. So it doesn't matter about all the stories in the books, all the films, all the shows, all the people you may know. Your love is the greatest love story of them all. And that's what your mask is saying to you. It's our love that matters. We are the greatest love story of all time. Even in separation, even in separation, because the masculine is saying to you in this card, when I'm apart from you, I miss you. When I'm apart from you, I'm thinking about you. It hits me in the feels. And that's what he's showing you here. He's holding his heart and he can feel you in pain. He can feel you reaching out. And he's saying, I want to be able to give you my heart. I want to be able to come to you and be with you. And what he's showing you in this card is, Number one, the angels are helping. You can see the romance angels up here. So during separation, you're being prepared for something. You're being prepared for each other. And the angels are working behind the scenes to make that happen. So there is actually angelic assistance here. But the masculine is showing you his heart. And he's saying to you, I understand that when we are apart, we're both growing and learning. But I need to be able to be there. And he has so much temptation to come to you and be with you and make love to you and, you know, 
spend time with you. That's what he wants to do. You can see that in the card there. He wants to be saying, oh, my heart is aching for you. My body is aching for you. And the reason there's a separation is because he's learning to give the right way. And what I'm really connecting with here is, I feel what your masculine is saying to you, if he's in a relationship or he's married or he's with someone, he's saying there's going to be a separation. Time apart from that person is on the horizon. So I definitely feel this is a big sign of a karmic candy. But he's saying to you, during the separation, he misses you, he feels you, he wants you, he desires you. He wants nothing more than to come and be with you. But he's also very aware that he's learning. And he's very grateful that you stay optimistic about your life and your love life and that you have positive thinking and that your faith helps him to remain faithful. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So the more positive you are about this love, the more positive you are about your life, the more you give to service and be you and spend time doing you, the quicker things will turn around. So I feel the masculine is saying to you, your positive thinking, the way you are, the way you carry yourself, the way you act, the way you are and the things you do, help me to remain faithful in my love. So the masculines are saying, I don't want to be with anybody else. I want to be with you. I want to bring you romance. I want to offer you a future. I want to show you the what will be. And this card's moving on top of the deck we've got very soon. So these are the things that are going to be flowing in very soon. The masculine is saying, I'm clearly deciding what I want. So it comes to me now. And this is why he's thinking, this is why he's contemplating, because he's saying to you, we are the greatest love story of them all. And during separation, more than ever, he realizes this. And they give me a lot of fear because he goes into fear. That's why he can pull away from you. It hurts him in the heart when he's away from you. And he learns when he's away from you how to think more positively, what faith is, what romance is all about, how he's able to give to you the right way how he can be enough for you and worthy of you. And he's deciding on this right now. So he's saying, I'm clearly deciding what I want. He's working through things in his life. He's releasing the past. He's doing all of this so he can be with you very soon because the love that you share is real. And he's saying, you have shown me what true love is. Very soon, I'm going to reciprocate it and show you what love is. I want to show you. I want to show you I can romance you and be optimistic as well. I want to show you who I am. I want to show you that I have the power to come towards you and that we are this greatest love story. So he's saying, I'm sorry if I've ever made you feel like you don't know where you stand with me or you don't know how you feel with me. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I've lied about my feelings, denied my feelings, acted like I don't care. But I have always loved you and I will love you. And I've always protected you, even when you haven't realized that. And I've always craved you and desired you, even if you weren't aware. You know, this person on the bed, he may be asleep. She may sense him there, but she can't see him there. Yet he is there, watching, biding his time, taking his time to do it the right way. And this is what's coming in very soon. So the message for you, Divine Feminine, is to stay optimistic about your love life to be positive, to have faith, because those are the things that are going to bring your twin in. And those are the things that are going to create the way for romance. So the masculine can open his heart to you and tell you all the things he wants to tell you and be with you the right way, the way he's been dreaming about during the separation. Because the love is the greatest love story of them all. So remember that the next time you're watching a film or watching a show or reading a book or Hearing about a love story, the greatest love story of them all is you and your twin. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.